about this two guys. It's awesome. Awesome. I am very pleased. And look, we've got golden stone down here. Definitely have to mine that. We'll build another town center next to these things so we can start cranking out villagers. More gold. Awesome. Let's not try to expand too fast. Let's take this uh, one step at a time. I mean, we, uh, we're just taking out like the first the first uh, civilization here. And we've got six more to go, and it looks like... <sighs> Let's see, going clockwise. One, two, three, four, five looks like the biggest one. <laughs> so, and after that, it looks pretty close. So once I get past five, it's going to be over there. I'm going to have to build up a really big army before I go and attack uh, Civilization V. Otherwise, I'm going to wipe down. Oh, you got you got to look. Let's, let's take out this wall here, this gate, so my guys can get through. I'm going to take out all the wall, but... It up. Let's move it out. You guys are doing awesome. I mean, seriously, the trebuchets are doing all the work, it seems like. No, you get like 20 trebuchets and they do some serious damage. Get that gold. But uh, they definitely need the cavalry to protect them. So, they are vulnerable. And I need to build some more cavalry. Let's take out that town center. You see the flag on it. It had the villagers inside. I don't think I killed them. Strange. There must have been like one in there. up these uh, trebuchets and move them on out. Ooh, out of food. Wow, alright, you guys gotta pick those berries. I'm gonna have to build some farms soon. Now I've got berries somewhere else, I better go find them. Some things don't require food, like if you're building siege onagers or heavy scorpions, they don't need food. So at least, at least with that, I'm, I'm good. Alright, let's get that, let's get that gold. Oh, what the heck? My neighbor, enemy neighbor here just cut through the forest. I just realized, oh, that's a bad thing. Alright, build a wall here. We need to build some defenses, because they're going to come attacking right through there. Luckily, they're not too powerful. They're a bit sparse, but... Um, uh, let's see. Get an archery. I can kill them uh, over past the trees. Oh, no. They've, they've built... Already built inside my little uh, area. <laughs> oh, what do they do? Take my berries? They came in here and got my food? Alright. Well, this is a, a good time to take a break. I'm gonna finish, uh, finish this up and then um, save this game and come back and uh, play it later. And it's, it's good to take a break from the game because you can think about it and when you come back you have like a fresh perspective and you get new ideas and stuff. So, let me just wrap things up. It's good, it seems like a good place to stop. The action has died down. Look at all these trade mouches over here. Let's move it out. Alright, that is the one civilization that's finally given up. One down, six to go. 
Because we got some battles in our backyard that we need to take care of. Right, a few more villagers over here. Ah, get some food over here. All right. It's always good to make the rounds and uh, find your villagers that aren't doing anything. Make sure everybody's busy. Otherwise, you're just wasting, uh, wasting your time. You're not getting the, the resources you need. All right, let's build some siege workshops here. Need more wood. Running low on resources. Wow. All right. Well, I'll see you back later. Welcome back, androids. I am low on resources, so what I'm going to do is get gather resources and create a big army. I think I'm pretty stable right now. I think I can hold back the, um, the army, but I'm not going to push forward and attack. So, I will see you back later once I've gathered resources and built an army, and then we can charge forward. Hey, androids, welcome back. I thought that uh, things would settle down and I could get gather resources, but I just kept getting attacked over and over and over. So my new strategy is just to let this go over here. I'll just let these guys fight it out. Um, oh, I need to get those resources. But what my plan is, instead of going clockwise around this map, because I'm meeting a lot of resistance over here, is head... Um, Sorry, counter. instead of going counterclockwise, I'm going to go clockwise. And I'm going to take out this uh, easy pickings here. And uh, so that I can get their resources, if what what they have left. Uh, let's see, they don't have too much left. Oh, send some gold over here. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to let, uh, let these guys fight it out. And um, I might as well... Well, let's let's uh, let's bring these guys forward here next to my castle, and we'll get them uh, get them enabled. Just all right, converted right. Just so at least they're doing something, doing some damage. All right, get these army guys, get them into the fray. But uh, I'm going to let this whole thing go. It's going to get destroyed. I'm going to move uh, move the other direction. But uh, I just want to make it difficult for them to move, to proceed forward through here. Buy me some time. I am going to regroup and head this away. Now that is my wall. I can destroy it. So I am going to do so. so that I can proceed through there. So let's start building um, building an army over here. Click the mini map. Ah, we're still we're still suffering for gold. I've got a lot of wood, so let me just sell some wood. Plenty of wood on this map to be had, so... Ha hum! Gonna ignore those attacks down there. Because they have to pass that uh, gauntlet of... Bombard Towers in order to get to my main... It, it, there's no real reason to, to even have a main area. Uh, you could just let your old main area get destroyed and keep keep building a new main area. All right, that should be good. Get these heavy duty paladins over here.
build up a nice big army. Let's go with some Siege Onagers. Hey now. Out of gold. What's my population? 170? 